Is that? Yeah, I need to swing wide so I can make the right turn. Yeah. Gosh. Stay to the left.
they did a pretty good job on this tarp job. Only thing they messed up on, they didn't put my straps under the rub rail. It's the only thing they did wrong. PNS, PNS straps. Well, PNS trailers. The rub rails are not rated for securement. It's the only thing they did wrong. Other than that, other than that, it's a pretty, pretty solid tarp job. Throw a couple bungees on this thing, and we'll be all right. Hey, today is my birthday, February 1st. Today is my birthday, man. I turned 36. Hey, before anybody asks, am I, am I working on my birthday? I sure am. Hey, money don't stop. Bills don't stop just cause it's your birthday. And this year, my birthday just happened to fall on a Tuesday. So it's in the middle of the week. So that's why I went out in Charlotte this past weekend for all y'all that follow me on Snapchat, you know. Follow me on uh, TikTok, Facebook. Hey, that reminds me. I had somebody ask me. Somebody asked me. I can't remember. I can't remember if it was Facebook or YouTube. Somebody asked me. When I was in Charlotte, they were like, how do you, how do you have all this free time, you know, with trucking? How do you still have time to enjoy the weekends and stuff like that? Ugh. I told the guy, I said, because I work at PNS and we're off on weekends. That's what I told him. I'm off every weekend. Sometimes during the week, like today, after I pick this load up, I'm going home with it. But, that still, is not, that still is not the answer to the question. The answer to the question is, how do I still enjoy my free time and still trucking? Let me sit these bungees down. You see these two hands? This is how, right here, because of these two hands. The Gypsum Express trailer. He got more bungees than I got. They do a better job on them. That's how I enjoy it. Cause I put these two hands to work. I work hard. These two hands right here, they do a lot of work. I gotta close up the front of this tarp. Let me tell y'all something, man. When it comes to closing the front of a tarp, I don't think it's anybody out there closing like I can.
don't think anybody closes up a damn tarp the front of it like I do. The key is use bungees. Don't be stingy with the bungees. Don't be stingy. You get this side, you get this side pinned down, then it's a lot easier to do, to do the other side. Landed gear up. Getting up out of there. I could have been gone, man. I got to this place. I got that's some more. If I didn't tell you, some more North Carolina, whatever name of it is, search certain need. One of those shingle, those uh, not shingle, but uh, sheet rock places. I got there at like 10 30. I had to wait two hours for my download, and I rushed to get there. I could have been home by like 1.30. Now my GPS says 2.56. Oh well.
Hey, one way or the other, we're going to the house. get up here and make this turn because I want to show y'all something. I don't know if y'all just saw those birds fly across the road. I've never I've never hit a bird. I've always come I've always came dangerously close to hitting them but I never hit one. One of my buddies that's in the flatbed group uh I think Chris Jensen he's over there at DMT no, not, not, is it DMT or DT Freight? He's at one of those PNS companies, either DMT or DT Freight. He drives an international Lone Star. But he hit a bird. I think he hit an owl or a hawk or something. And, and cracked his, wind, his windshield on the uh, passenger side. And when he posted the picture in the group, I said, man, I said, every time I come down 95 into South Carolina, coming through the Dillon, going into Florence, coming through the Dillon area, where you gotta cross over that bridge, where there's like a lot of woods over there. I, I commented on it. I said, man, every time I come in South Carolina, I almost hit a damn eagle or something. And he commented back and he was like, that's where I hit this one at. I said, I knew it. Man, it's like a damn, you ever seen Resident Evil? Where they had all them all them crows in the in the sky, and they was like attacking people, like swarms of crows. That's how it is in South Carolina. When you coming on uh, after, after you, okay, after you pass south of the border, you going south on 95. After you pass south of the border, and you start going in that little the little area where you got the, that long. It ain't really too long of a bridge, but it's a bridge with no shoulder. After you, cross, after you go through that little area, matter of fact, when you come in there, South Carolina, you got the South Carolina Welcome Center on, it's gonna be on your right. As soon as you pass that South Carolina Welcome Center, you're gonna be in that area. Hey, don't come through there with your windows down. Cause there weren't them eagles flying your truck and attack you. You're probably gonna be going off the damn side of that bridge. Whenever it, whenever it rains, that water raises up. Cause like you can come through there sometimes and you'll see people down there working. Like with bulldozers and stuff. You'll see them down there, it'll be dry. But, but let it rain and come through. It's like a damn, like an Amazon river. All of it's full of water. And I'll be like, but I think, to tell you the truth, I think they have a dam. I think they release the water at certain times. Cause how are they gonna know to get their equipment out? Before that water comes up. This this is the this is the right turn right here. Turn right on Concord Cephalo Road. Hey, back when I had my Ram McNally um GPS, 
it, one time it took me straight. It took me straight down this road. And, it, and, and you gotta make another right turn. But whenever you make the right turn, it has a sign up there for no no trucks. Turn left on but you can't see the sign until you already make the turn. Until it's too late. You gotta go real wide out. Real wide out to your left to make that right. But man, this is this is sharp. It's a pretty I, I'm not gonna say it's too bad of a road. I've been on some roads in Pennsylvania been pretty bad, but, so that one ain't too bad. But you gotta be real careful, cause you'll flip over in that lake. It's a lake out in this area. It's a big lake. But anyway, let me keep on trucking this thing to the house. I ain't gonna talk y'all heads off. Hey, make sure y'all leave me happy birthday down in the comments, man. Happy birthday, D. Drop the snowman with the happy birthday. Three quarters of a mile.